the first question is find the highest number which divides 27 and 45 exactly now look here it is given that we have to find the number which divides 27 and 45 so the number which divides other number is called as the divisor now we know that if any divisor divides the dividend completely like if we take two numbers 12 and 3 so 3 is the divisor 12 is the dividend if we divide 12 by 3 we will get remainder 0 so we can say that 3 divides 12 exactly so 3 is the factor of 12 okay so here the divisor if the divisor divides the number completely leaving no remainder then that divisor is the factor of dividend now we have to find out that highest factor so highest factor means hcf okay so here we have to find out the hcf of 27 and 45 so HCF of 27 and 45. Firstly, we will do prime factorization of 27. 27 is divisible by 3. 3 9s are 27. 9 is divisible by 3. So, 3 3s are 9. And then 3 1s are 3. Next number is 45. So, do the prime factorization of 45. 45 is divisible by 3. 3 15s are 45. Again, divide 15 by 3. 3 5s are 15. Now, divide 5 by 5. So, 5 1s are 5. Therefore, 27 is equals to 3 into 3 into 3. 45 is equals to 3 into 3 into 5 now we can see that a group of 3 this first group of 3 is common and the second group of 3 is also common here so we got two groups of 3 common in the factors of 27 and 45 therefore hcf will be equals to 3 multiply by 3 that is 9 so highest number which divides 27 and 45 exactly is equals to 9. Next question is find the lowest number which when divided by 8 and 9 leaves 3 as remainder in each case. Here we have to find out the lowest number which is divided by 8 and 9. So here the number is divided by 8 and 9 these two given numbers. The number which is divided by any other number is called as the dividend. Now, if the dividend is exactly divisible by the divisor, then the dividend is the multiple of the divisor like we took in the previous question 12 divided by 3. So, here 12 is the multiple of 3. 3 is the factor of 12 and 12 is the multiple of 3. So, in this case, if we do not consider this 3 right now, let us suppose we just have to find out the lowest number which is divided by 8 and 9 exactly. So, that number will be the lowest multiple of 8 and 9. Lowest multiple means LCM. Okay. So, here firstly we will find out the lowest multiple that is the LCM of 8 and 9. So, LCM of 8 and 9. It will be firstly we will divide this 8 by 2 as both the numbers are co prime numbers means they have 1 as their common factor. So 
both the numbers are not divisible by a single factor we will first divide 8 by 2 so 2 4s are 8 write this 9 as it is because it is not divisible by 2 now again divide 4 by 2 2 2s are 4 write this 9 as it is again divide 2 by 2 2 1s are 2 and write 9 as it is now 9 is divisible by 3 so 1 will be written as it is 3 3s are 9 and then again divide 3 by 3 so 1 and 1 here lcm is equals to 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 which will be 2 2s are 4 4 2s are 8 8 threes are 24 and 24 threes are 72. So you can see if we have to find out the LCM of two co-prime numbers here 8 and 9 are the co-prime numbers which have only one as their common factor. So if we are finding out the LCM of two co-prime numbers then LCM of these numbers will be the product of these two numbers 8 9s are 72. We got the same as LCM. So LCM of two co-prime numbers is their product. Now we got the LCM 72. So 72 is exactly divisible by 8 and 72 is exactly divisible by 9 also. But here they are saying that the number which leaves 3 as remainder. But if you divide 72 by 8 or 9, so the remainder will be 0. Now what we have to do? To get this remainder, we have to add this remainder in the LCM. Therefore, in 72, we will add 3. So, required lowest number will be equals to 72 plus 3, which is equals to 75. So, this is the required number when we divide 75 by 8. 3 will be the remainder and when we will divide 75 by 9 again remainder will be equals to 3. So this after finding out LCM we will add this remainder in the LCM to get the lowest number. Next question is find the highest number by which 101 and 137 can be divided so as to leave remainder 5 in each case. Now the highest number by which we can divide the given numbers is their HCF. But in this case remainder is there. Remainder is 5. Uh, after dividing 101 and 137 by this HCF remainder is coming that is 5. But if any number is a factor of other number, then remainder is 0 in that case. So, to find out HCF, we first have to subtract the remainder from both the numbers. Because if any number like 15 divided by 4, if we divide 15 by 4, we know 4 3s are 12, remainder is 3. So 15 is not exactly divisible by 4 but if we subtract this remainder from the dividend that is 15 minus 2 we will uh, sorry 15 minus 3 we will get 12. So this 12 is exactly divisible by 4. 4 is the factor of 12. Therefore firstly to find out the highest common factor we will subtract remainder 5 from 101 and 137. So subtracting 5 from 101 and 137. 101 minus 5 it will be equals to 96. 137 minus 5 will be equals to 132 means now the number which is required in the question 
that number will be the hcf of 96 and 132 so find out the hcf of 96 and 132 do the prime factorization of 96 so 96 is divisible by 2 2 48 are 96 divide 48 by 2 now 2 24s are 48 again divide by 2 so 2 12s are 24 then 2 6s are 12 2 3s are 6 and 3 1s are 3 now do the prime factorization of 132 so 132 is also divisible by 2 2 66 are 132 2 33 are 66 now 33 is divisible by 3 3 11 33 and 11 itself is a prime number so we will divide 11 by 11 11 1 11, 11, 11 therefore 96 is equals to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 132 is equals to 2 into 2 into 3 into 11 so here you can see a common group of 2 one more group of 2 and one group of 3 these are the common factors in the factors of 96 and 132 so hcf is equals to 2 into 2 into 3 which is equals to 12 therefore required highest number is equals to 12 when we will divide 101 by 12 remainder will be 5 and 137 by 12 again it will give remainder equals to 5 so the highest number is 12 next question is find the lowest number which when increased by 3 is divisible by 12 16 and 18 so the lowest number which is divisible by the given 3 number is their lcm we will take this 3 at the last we are first considering the lowest number which divide which is divisible by 12 16 and 18 so that lowest number is the lcm of 12 16 and 18 so let us first find out the lcm of 12 16 and 18 so lcm of 12 16 and 18 write all the numbers together now as you can see 12 16 and 18 all the three numbers are divisible by 2 so divide them by 2 2 6 are 12 2 8 are 16 2 9 are 18 now divide the numbers by 2 because 6 and 8 both are divisible by 2 but 9 is not divisible so we will write 9 as it is but divide 6 and 8 by 2 So two threes are six, two fours are eight, and nine will be copied down at as it is. Now again, you can see three and nine. A common factor is there that is three. So three ones are three, four will be written as it is, and three threes are nine. One four and three. There is no common factor, so we will leave the division here and LCM. Will be equals to two into two into three into four into three. So on multiplying all these factors, we will get one hundred forty-four. Product of these numbers is one hundred forty-four. Now one hundred forty-four is that number which is divisible by twelve, sixteen, and eighteen exactly. 
but in the question they are asking for the number which when increased by 3 is divisible now 144 is already divisible which means the number which is required in the question is 3 less than 144 so we will subtract 3 from 144 therefore required lowest number is equals to 144 minus 3 that will be 141 now you can see that in this 141 if we add 3 that will become 144 which is the LCM of 12 16 and 18 and is exactly divisible by these numbers so the required number is 141 next question is find the highest number that can divide 184 and 327 after adding 4 and 2 to them respectively so the highest number that can divide the given numbers is their HCF but we have to add 4 in 184 and 2 in 327 first it is already given to us in the question that the number can divide 184 and 327 after adding 4 and 2 to them so let us add 4 in 184 so 184 plus 4 it will be equals to 188 and 327 plus 2 we have to add 2 in 327 so it will be equals to 329 now we have to find out HCF of 188 and 329 so 188 start doing the prime factorization it is divisible by 2. 2 9s are 18 and 2 4s are 8. We got 94. Again it is divisible by 2. 2 4s are 8 and 2 7s are 14. The next number is 47. Now 47 is a prime number. So it will be divisible by 47 itself. 47 1s are 47 next number is 329 do the prime factorization of this number now 329 is divisible by 7 7 4s are 28 4 is left 4 and 9 49 7 7s are 49 again we got here 47 so divide 47 by 47 47 1s are 47 so 188 is equals to 2 into 2 into 47 and 329 is equals to 7 into 47 so the common factor is 47 here which means hcf is equals to 47 so required highest number is equals to 47.